I want to say this about Mr. Jason Tatum. You are now my enemy. <laughs> I was trying to see who's going to replace LeBron James as the guy I root against for the next decade. I was like, am I going to find it? You know, I'm older now. Maybe I just don't. You know, I'm not going to be hating on players like that. But you have given me that role, sir. It is you. And this is why I cannot stand Jason Tatum. And this is why I'll be rooting against the Boston Celtics for the remainder of this postseason. By the way, I think everybody else hates the Celtics. If you're a black man and you're not – if you're a black person and you're not from the Massachusetts area and you like the Boston Celtics, you might be an op, my nigga. Like, outside of that year with KG and then was there. Remember how, you know, they were black women's favorite team in the mid in the late 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, especially because of KG. I mean, I, I picked them to win the championship this year, but I am not a Boston fan. I'm normally a Lakers fan, but uh yeah, this yeah, this is this is silly, bro. Uh Jason Tatum, I know the box score looks nice, but again, like I say, he he's him and Paul George are the same person until he I think he gets will. over I'm sorry. the playoff gips where he does <laughs> the silly shit that he does. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where we can sit here and nitpick at his, at his game, but you know, he did have a big three. He did, like you said, end up with uh, 36, you know what I'm saying? So he, it, it's one of those things where at a glance you'll be like, well, what are y'all complaining about? But like you said, when you actually watch the game, there are certain things where you just say, bro, it's 10. Like Jason Tatum, go to the rack. Like when he got his dunk blocked, I understand you got fouled. There's no way he shouldn't have been on him. Like it was just – it's certain things with Jason that you're always going to get until he's hoisting the Larry O'Brien and then – some of it will ease up, but I understand. I understand why the frustration is, is is clear, and it's like also too the thing that you know if you look at the numbers will also piss me off. Yeah, he had thirty six, but then he could have had fifty if he didn't have that what four point <laughs> quarter in like yeah, the second exactly. quarter, and then you know there was a stat. Uh, you had ten points in the overtime, which is the most points in the overtime in the playoffs since Damian Lillard like ten years ago. So on paper, you're like, oh, that's great. Half of them was free throws. Like, it, th- th- there's different things to it. Like, uh, shout out HPJR, who was a legendary Twitter Twitter user. He had this tweet. He said, I'm finna look at the box score and argue people who actually watch the game. Because that's what I saw last night. And and, and, and niggas who are Celtics fans know he had a bad game. Paul Pierce is on Levitar today. And they asked him that he have a bad game. He said, well, you know, he did other things. Like, that. you know what exactly yeah. what that means. Like That's like... Go ahead. That's that's like that uh that closeout game in the finals when Kobe had twenty two rebounds, but he shot like three for forty. And Six he's like, for twenty. But he had twenty two. But he had twenty two rebounds. I <laughs> always say, as a Kobe disciple, my oh he had key rebounds. I always say that, and when when I try to defend that game, but that's what makes me what irritates me the most about Tatum is I want him to be great. Like that's the difference. I hated on LeBron for twenty years just because I didn't like LeBron. Like it really had nothing to do with. The bull, none of my LeBron hate was logical. This hate is because I want him to do better. He has the talent. Like we over here talking about Anthony Edwards. We shouldn't even be thinking about Anthony Edwards if Jason Tatum actually used the talent in his body consistently. That's the problem. At the end of games, he plays like a nigga who plays 2K and don't run plays. That's exactly who how Jason Tatum plays. And some people was like, well, how are you going to discredit the others? Jalen Brown himself told, I think it was uh, Cassidy Hubbard, well, then JT woke up. Even that nigga knows. So a- as much as this is like, you know, the, the the pressure's on Tatum. And I had the homie Black Trey on here last week, and we have been talking about for weeks that, you know, we give Jason Tatum a lot, and he's been to all these conference finals. He's only 25 years old. But you can't go out there and say what you said this year, like, oh, well, I think I'm the best player in the league and I should be MVP. Okay, if you believe that, like you should, go out there and play that way. You shouldn't be getting bailed out. By 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 Jalen Brown, you shouldn't be getting bailed out by Drew Holiday's defense. By the way, anybody who questioned that Drew Holiday trade early in the year, that nigga Drew is a guy you need for championship teams. It might not all show up in the box box score, but that dude it is ridiculous. And it's kind of like that Drake bar. What Drake say on uh on um Family Matters? Kendrick just opened his mouth. Yeah, Tatum just opened his mouth. Somebody hand him an MVP right now. That's how I feel every time niggas cape. For, for Jason Tatum, and I'm fed up with it. And let's be very clear. If they don't win the NBA championship, and they should, especially with the rumors that Porzingis is going to return when Indi- and when they win the series shift to Indianapolis, if they don't win the championship, even worse, if they don't win this series, 
we need to give him 2000 level LeBron Omega level slander because enough is enough. No, hell no, hell no, that's too far. LeBron did that shit in the finals, like in the NBA finals. Like, let's we forget ridiculous. about the 100 turnovers, but, but again, but ago. again, but again, this is this is when he is, you know. LeBron James, like he made his team. This is everything around. This is one of those moments. This is how you know we're getting old because we really start to just ignore the context around the decision. It's like, fuck it, he went to Miami. <laughs> it's like, it's not even the fact that he went to Miami. It was the whole setup around it because there were so many other major teams with a lot of cap space. And so, like, the pieces could have fell in so many different ways. It, and it for him to Chicago. get. It, it could have been in Chicago, could have been in New York. Bro, if Luau, that Luau Dane trade goes in, I I, yeah. I wish D-Wade would have kept that to himself. Yeah, like, it's one of those things where now it's just the decision, but it's like the context around it makes that 2011 finals even worse because it's like, all right, bro, you made your team. Y'all sat there and ran through the league. You know, you had your slow start, and but y'all ran through the league. You showed us why y'all got together. And then we get to the finals, and y'all nut up after taking the lead in the series. Let's not forget that part after oh, yeah. tease after tease and Dirk. <laughs> oh, I'm a lot of people about that. It, exactly, because it, it, it was so many years ago. But the context around all of that failure, you can't put Tatum on that level yet. Like if he get to okay, the finals, and nut that up, was thirteen and, years ago. It was bro, him sitting there <laughs> in the goddamn YMCA with that fucking flannel on. Like with that flannel on. And I think it's changed so much about about the, the the entire landscape of basketball. Well, that 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 the the Heatles made the NBA twenty four seven three sixty five league. Remember, remember the Heat Index? That's what people said. Well, you just cover a team too much. They had the Heat Index because it was such a crazy thing that happened, and that's why I think LeBron, like in, in retrospect and hindsight, honestly, LeBron did nothing wrong. But it's just the way that. You know, we never seen anything like like the the the, the idea of three all stars being on the same team was egregious. Now let's be very clear: if it happened on the west side of Chicago, I wouldn't have cared. I'd have been New wearing. Era, I, nigga. I'd have had a witness t shirt, nigga. I'd have been like, well, I don't know who to go. Mike O'Bron. They both played for my team. I don't really care. It'd have been a whole nigga, different conversation. Nigga, nigga, I would have had the red NWO shirt on. I would have been like, fuck y'all. Like it, not, that, this, it would have been crazy. This how crazy that team would have been. Derrick Rose could have tore his ACL and it still wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't it wouldn't have meant nothing? <laughs> it wouldn't have meant nothing. We'd be like, get well soon, nigga. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's how it is. But so it might be a little bit much for the Tatum thing, but if they don't win the championship, Tatum needs to face a lot of slander. And if you're the yeah. if you're the Celtics, if you don't win this year, like there's no LeBron in, the, in your way, there's no Steph in your way, there's no Joker in your way, there's just a nigga from Slovenia. And a nigga from Zone Six Atlanta in your way, like you have no excuses. I believe. Then paper on his player haters old news money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna.